Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you how to fix your MSI uh, software control manager, or control center, sorry. Uh, so, here you can see I'm trying to open the software control, software center manager, software control manager, whatever it's called, and I get these errors. This usually happens after I do a reinstall or I update the software. So, I'll show you how to fix this. I'm going to continue. Okay. So, in order to fix the SCM not working, we're going to go to our control panel. Uh, go uninstall. We're going to want to uninstall both SCM and the Steel Series engine. So, let's do this. Uninstall. Yes, go right ahead. Must restart? No, I will restart later. Um, I'm going to uninstall the Steam Series engine. Yes. Do I want to keep my custom profiles? Yes, I do. I already set some custom colors, so I don't want to lose those. Steel Series engine was successfully removed from your computer. Okay. Now that we did that, we're going to want to restart our computer. So let me restart and I'll be back. Now that the computer has restarted, we're going to want to reinstall the SCM and the Steel Series engine. And you have to follow this carefully. So first, we're going to want to install SCM, restart the computer. Install Steel Series Engine and then restart the computer once again. So let's do that. I already have my executables here. I'm gonna choose run as administrator. Yes. I'm gonna let it install. Restart the computer and I'll be back again. So the computer restarted. Here we're going to try to open a CM. And we're good. Now you see that SCM is working up again. It's not having any problems, no more errors. Here let's try to do our shift setting. Comfort. Green. Sport. Try eco. Okay, there. Our, my screen brightness dropped down. Turn it off. Okay, there we go. So now we see that everything is working. Uh, now we're going to want to reinstall the Steel Series engine. Close this down. And I already have that here. So again, run as administrator. Okay, so let me restart the computer and I'll be back again. Alright, I'm going to computer restart it. Okay, we're going to try to open up again the CM. And it still works. So, this will successfully fix your SCM And keep your Steel Series engine working. Let's open that up. Here, you can see it is still working. And my profile is set. All good. Put that down. Okay, still works. So again, just recapping this, you're going to want to 
first uninstall SCM in the SteelSeries engine, restart your computer. Then install SCM, restart the computer, and then install the SteelSeries engine. Restart the computer again, and this will fix your problems with SCM. I had this computer for more than two years. It took me a while to figure this out, but um, anytime you do that update SCM or you get a SteelSeries engine, you have to follow this same procedure. If not, SCM will break again. So, hope this video helped you guys out, and see you on the next one.